going on guys welcome back to wdyd csp what do you do as a central sterile processor guys i am talking about the basic instruments to my favorite specialty l and d guys as a surgical tech that was my specialty field um l and d gyn obgyn so every we always talk about basic instruments but when we talk about a specialty such as L and D, we have to talk about, I'm gonna talk about the basic instruments within this set. So, just about in every L and D set, you will find some form of tenaculum. The Hoka is one that you probably won't see often, but you'll see this guy, the Schroeder single tooth tenaculum, and then you'll see the Schroeder um ver verse verse versalum versalum i always say that wrong i can never pronounce that but has four teeth um can be called different names by different manufacturers curettes of different sizes um sharp or blunt um uh these are sims curettes here um the handles usually give it away that is sims you also have um this one here which is the Kevorkian basket curette it is a sharp um, curette with a small little basket. Um, always inspect that little basket for tissues. All right, placenta forceps. This is a Breer. There's one that looks just like this called the Sofer. The difference is the, the depth of the teeth or the width of the teeth. Um, and usually the Sofers aren't um, ratcheted. Um, this one here is called the Kelly placenta forcep. Um, has a round head on it. Um, it can be confused for a sofa, but the sofas are a little bit more oval. Um, all right, let's see what else I got here. Basic wise retractors. All right, this is a um, vaginal retractor, a Sims vaginal retractor, double ended. It comes in many different sizes, small and large. Um, this one here is the this is the first facility I've ever seen this retractor, but it's a common instrument. It's called the Dealey retractor if you're taking the cis guys remember this instrument it's always in every test the daily retractor all right of course no lnd set is complete without some type of vaginal speculum all right you got several sizes but this type here is the graves it looks like a duck bill it has the wider nose on it all right and that can be in all kinds of sizes this is the pennington um Hope I'm saying that right. I always say that wrong too. Not the best at naming the instruments properly, but I know what they are. Um, I'm showing you here that this is the way you should not send it through decon. And I'll talk about that in another video. And um, it does come apart completely. A lot of manufacturers do pin the bolt so that the screw doesn't come off all the way. This is how you should be sending it through decon. Um, it's a lot easier and I'll show you why in the next video guys Dilators of course you have to have dilators whatever type you're gonna use um, These are Hager dilators. Um, you know they what they are because they are hollow the Hagers are hollow dilators um, They come in several sizes um, the sizes are stamped into the dilator itself um, so there'll be a number and a double ended. So one size and then the next size is doubled up. So if it's a 15, the other side is a 17. Um, and the doctor will alternate between the two and hand them off. Of course, you can't talk about LND again without the weighted speculum, the Arvard. Um, you can have the long nose or the short nose. Um, depending on the situation, just make sure that your count sheet specifies which one you need. Sometimes you need both. The uterine sound, of course, this is the death gauge of the LND world. Um, it is malleable. Um, this one's a brand new one, so a nice copper look to it. Um, you know, you shouldn't be processing different metals together. And if you've ever seen a uterine sound that's been processed with other instruments, you'll know why. Haney retractor is usually a nice 90 degree angle. Sometimes it can have a solid a, a handle or a flat one just as this. Um, the Breeski or Broski, nah, it's the Breeski retractor. Um, different sizes, different lengths, different widths. 
Um, another common instrument that you'll see in a lot of L and D sets. Um, you'll see them in pairs or in sets um, with different sizes and so forth and so forth. All right, let's make room, guys, because now we're coming to the big boy here. This is another common retractor, the O'Connor O'Sullivan or O'Sullivan O'Connor retractor. So everyone goes first. All right, they, a lot of people call it the Irish retractor. O'Connor O'Sullivan, I get it. It has two wing nuts, and again, usually they punch the the the, the screw so that the wing nuts do not back out all the way. Um, that keeps it safe from falling into the patient or being lost in decontamination or in processing in any way. It comes with several blades, usually two, um, usually three or four blades of different sizes. Um, they just slide right over the wing nut um, and then you lock it in place, you slide it. Now, there's a little notch in there that the wing nut fits over. Put the blade on. And of course, the blades face in the same direction that the blades attach to the retractor, the oval retractor face, because this goes in the abdominal area, usually used in open hysterectomies. Um, you probably won't see these too much more in um, L&D sets because of all the minimal invasive surgeries now um, and new techniques to do hysterectomies or um, no need to really open up. Um, unless it's a big emergency, but um, yeah, this retractor it comes a small and a larger um, set. But these are the basic instruments of this specialty. We always talk about basic instruments such as hemostats and Mets and bomb scissors and croakers and Alice retract Alice forceps, and yes, they are existing in every set but when we talk about specialties specialties have their basic instruments as well and these happen to be the ones for lnd all right guys peace